Okay? Then what we obtain is minus omega square m matrix plus k matrix and u equal to zero. In this case, what we have changed? Then we obtain minus omega square m <coughs> plus k a equal zero. Therefore, in this case, we said minus omega square m plus k has to be zero because a equals to zero is a trivial solution. Does not have the meaning of vibration because a equals zero means that it is not moving. Okay? This gives us famous relation that determines the omega, specific omega, so omega square is equal to k over m, and we call this natural frequency, omega square m. Okay, similarly, over here, Similarly, over here, this equation requires the determinant of has to be zero. Because, 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 as we see over here, the solution that u vector is zero is a trivial solution. Okay? The system is not working. Therefore, this one has some special meaning. Must have uh, some special meaning. Okay, we cannot just uh, say minus omega square m plus k equal to zero. Because that is matrix form. Okay? The inversion of this matrix inversion of this matrix is if the inversion of this matrix exists, then then it does not have a meaning. Therefore the determinant, the inversion of this matrix is is the cofactor divided by the determinant of this matrix. If you are not familiar with those kind of things, you just follow it. Okay. You will have a chance to see, to get the uh, inversion of that matrix. Therefore, determinant must be zero. And this gives us two spatial frequency, omega 1, and omega 2 square, here we have only one omega square, natural frequency. Physical meaning is that if we have two degree of freedom system, there are two natural frequencies. Why? 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 Physically, what we saw, as we saw in the last lecture, is in our famous demonstration, This mathematical
Okay? You feel safe? He's in static condition. Yeah, okay. If you if you uh, feel asleep, I mean, then why don't you stand up over there and okay. be dynamic, not static. Okay. Post the natural frequency, we can see it's like this. Right? And the second natural frequency I don't like this much. Okay, he understands my point. Okay, there's a two different frequency we can generate. That is omega 1 and omega 2. Ooh. That is omega 1 and omega 2. Okay. Then what we did? Then what we did? Then what we did? This omega 1, for example, if you if you put omega one over here, this will determine corresponding u. As I demonstrate over here, I generate omega one, and then you see the mass is moving in phase. That is one u. When I generate omega two, these two mass move up and down. That is U2. Mathematically, if I express mathematically what I did in demonstration, it's just putting omega 1 over here. And then I claim that corresponding displacement is U1. And then I also say, can say, putting another omega 2, two or, when I generate omega 2 over here, that will make another motion U2. And each U1 has two displacements. That I call U11, because this is the displacement of element 1 generated by omega 1, and the other one I write U21, because this is element number 2 generated by omega 1. This is our sign convention. And U2 can be written as U2 u one two and u two two okay